astronomer David Levy is on a quest. As he rolls back the roof of his desert observatory, thoughts of catastrophic impacts are never far from his mind. David's telescopes have shown him the damage that asteroids and comets can do. And so he'd like to find them before they find us. And the quest itself can be beautiful. David and his trusted telescopic companion, he calls her Miranda, will sweep the starry night by hand, searching specifically for comets. And together, they've bagged several over the years. The beautiful thing about comet hunting is that it lets you imagine that you're physically out there in space. It doesn't require a whole lot of concentration. You can let your mind wander. You can let your mind think that you're in a spaceship a spaceship of the mind, perhaps, out there in space, visiting all the objects. A few years ago, hardly anyone outside the space community took the threat of comet impact very seriously. That is, until David Levy and Carolyn and Jean Shoemaker discovered the object that became known as periodic comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. On March the 23rd, 1993, we were taking photographs of the night sky of an area near the planet Jupiter. And the next day, Carolyn Shoemaker discovered these two images, and one on each photograph, of a totally shattered comet. This comet had been doing something awful a few months earlier. But in July of 1992, the comet had passed within 20,000 kilometers of Jupiter's cloud tops. And the comet just sort of broke apart as it went by Jupiter. On May 22, 1993, the announcement came out but in 1994, all 21 fragments of the comet are going to collide with Jupiter. 